Right, so started these in the house in these trays and cucumbers have a good um, good success rate from the seeds so now the next step is to put them in the start putting these in the ground because now there's about a June 1st area where it's hot and it's starting to get hot warm it's very sunny and uh, so we're going to put some of these in the ground. I prepared a bed here. In this area, they're going to climb up this uh, fence I got stuck in the ground in my garden here. They'll be climbing up this. Uh, I put some peat moss and some uh, organic fer manure fertilizer down in here as a base to kind of drainage and uh, nutrients. So here we have the tray it's in. Now, what you have to do is kind of squeeze, squeeze the sides here to kind of free it up a little bit from inside. And then what we're gonna do is on the bottom, we have holes. So you stick a pencil in that hole and as this becomes to free up, I'm going to turn this upside down with my fingers like this, upside down, and that will pop out of the tray. Okay, now I'm going to turn this off because I'm now going to use this hand that's holding the camera to stick the pen. So now we have it. I popped it out of the tray. We got a nice root system here and it's going to be dying to get in the ground over here. And so I'm going to plant this baby right about this one next to the post here, right here. And see, you put in here nice and happy. And I don't know about you, but or anybody else for all that matters. I personally have trouble with cutworms. Cutworm comes here, tomorrow morning will come out and find this cut off from the stem lying there dead. It's happened to me too many times. Finally got smart. And I'm going to use this collars from the a wonton pint that I cut off the bottom. I put this around the plant. I'm only going to Stick this in a little ways so that the cutworms can't come in and enjoy a cucumbers while I'm sleeping. Okay, now once you do this, you need to water in. It's called watering in. You're going to water this in. And I'll show you that. You don't want to put it in too fast because if you do, the water will uproot what you just transplanted. So I put the water in here nice and slowly and that's basically good enough. This baby's watered in. I'll make sure I'll be uh, taking care of it like a little baby for the next day, a couple of days, water, making sure it's got its water. And of course, like I say, this collar's on here now. You can see where some of the water did it. Go push some of that dirt up, so I'll push it down. Take care of it like a little baby, like I say, as, as best you can. Okay, so there you have it. Transplanting, growing cucumbers from seed and transplanting them into your garden and protecting them from cutworms. And here's an update on the planting, the transplanting of my uh, cucumber seedlings. You can see they're coming along very beautifully. It's only been about five days since I transplanted these and 
and uh, he'll be growing up on this trestle. And that's a line of about 12 of them as I go along. But you can see how happy they are. And the weather hasn't been that nice at all. Surprised that they didn't uh, die out on me. As soon as we get some hot days, these are going to explode. And then uh, you come up, train them to come up on here, and we'll have all the cucumbers. And I'll be juicing those cucumbers. And look here, holy smokes, uh, the strawberries are starting to turn a little red here. Yeah. That's nice, yeah. And also, on my blackberries, uh, they're beginning to bud. Throw that in the mix, too. Okay, 